Today I'm going to talk about how to fix elbow pain, specifically on the inside, why it happens, what can you do about it, and should you continue with your normal routine. Okay, today we're going to talk about medial epicondylitis, which is pain on the inside of the elbow right about here. On a lot of bones you have what's called ep epicondyles. What they serve as is to originate or insert into a muscle or a tendon. So a lot of muscles originate or insert into these. And you have them on both sides. You have a medial and a lateral. Uh, this pain usually comes from uh, any type of pulling. So if you're a rock climber or you're working on a one-arm chin-up, if you do too much volume or too much intensity, you can get some pain on here. Okay, now why does this happen? Usually it's from um, the opposite side being underdeveloped or overdeveloped. So if we are working on our one-arm chin-up or doing a lot of uh, rock climbing where we're pulling, we're overdeveloping this portion, which is pulling on the opposite portion. So how can we fix this? Well, we can work on the opposite side. This is the way that I think is the best. So how do we work on that opposite side? We can take um, a barbell for an example. All we want is something that's straight so we can have a pronated grip. I don't want my grip to be here or neutral. I want it to be pronated. So I need something straight and I need something a little bit heavy. This is 20 kg, but I think anything will work from 10 to 15, depending on your strength. And what you're gonna do is a reverse curl with some technique involved. So when the arm is straight, you're gonna flex the tricep. You do that by trying to extend the elbow. I flex the tricep, then I'm gonna curl up with two seconds. One, two, as high as possible. Then I'm gonna lower, lower down the eccentric for four seconds. One, two, three, four. Contract the tricep again, and then do another rep. One, two, one, two, three, four. Contract. One, two, one, two, three, four. Contract. And what's gonna happen is, one, you're gonna get pumped out in the forearm. So your forearm's gonna be, be filled with blood, and you're gonna strengthen the opposite side. So a lot of people with injuries, they will stop doing what they're doing, they'll rest it, and why does resting heal that injury? Well, this part gets weak, this part gets weak, now they're both equally weak, so there's no longer pull here. So when you return to what you're doing, rock climbing or one arm chin up, you are weaker, and this structure is weaker. So I don't like this idea, I like, let's train the weak side to become stronger, while this side also becomes stronger. People that I've given this exercise to have felt results immediately, and if not immediately, after two or three sessions. So I would do this after your main workout or after rock climbing for three to five sets of six to eight reps with the tempo of one, two, one, two, three, four. And you need something heavy, and often when you do this with the pain, you will feel it pretty intensely when you're doing this. And then after the first set, you'll feel immediate relief, okay? So if you have uh, any good results with this, share it down below. If you have any medial epicondylitis and have figured out other ways to heal it, there's definitely other ways. Let me know down below. And that is the session.